Hey guys, welcome to this Fix It Friday. Today, we're gonna to be putting in this Max Air fan. We got this in the mail just a couple days ago, so I've been kind of chomping at the bit to put it in. Um, we're hoping that once we put this in, we don't have to use our air conditioning as much, and this will actually run on um, 12 volt power. We can actually use this to suck the air out and actually get a pretty good draft going on in here. So, let me tell you a few of the features and why we chose this fan over the Fantastic fan or any ones out there. Um, we picked this one because you can actually have the lid closed and still have it running. And so that's called ceiling fan mode. Um, we figured that'd be nice in the winter or when it's raining, we can actually keep on uh, getting air movement and circulation. The other features that this has um, this is actually the 4000K model, so um, there's a few things it doesn't have. Um, this one actually does have the, a thermostat on it. Um, it does do intake as well as exhaust. Um, it has a controller at the ceiling, and the few things that it doesn't have, which we didn't think that it was worth the money, was a remote control. Our ceilings are only like 6'4", so we can reach... Um, any of the controllers that we need. It, one of the big reasons we wanted to get this is we have a dog. Um, so we wanted this to keep them cool in here. It does get hot. It's just like a car. Um, so we know we won't be able to run our air conditioning when we're boondocking. So we wanted this to keep the, the camper cool um, on those hot days, which will not leave the dog alone if it's too hot. So we're going to figure this out. Um, but we didn't want the rain sensor because we figured if we're out for the day and it even rains a little bit, the lid shuts. And then so then it'll start getting hot again in here. And I don't believe it opens back up when the rain goes away. So we didn't want that feature. Um, I'd rather manually open it and close it and turn it off and on when we need it. The reason we went with this one instead of the Fantastic Fan was because it has 10 speeds versus the Fantastic fan has three a uh, low medium and a high we figured more speeds more power or we can pick and choose um, how much we're getting the air sucked out or any air blown in i'm really excited to put this in because we're going to boondock quite a bit and this will run on our batteries um, i'm not sure how long but we'll kind of figure that out in the next couple weeks and see how fast it drains our batteries and i'll let you guys know what we're going to do is actually going to wire it into the ceiling. I think the hardest thing about putting this in is going to be trying to wire it because we are not wired for any power in our vent. Our existing one didn't have it. So um, what I'm going to have to do is go from our LED light that's above our bed that always has power. It's not on a switch. Um, so I'm going to open all of this up and I'll show you guys in a minute. And I'm going to wire a piece of wire through the rafters just so that I can pull through some wires and hook it to the existing light. That way we'll have power to it always. Um, I think that'll be the most difficult. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to read the instructions and we're going to make sure we do this right because we're dealing with the roof and we don't want any leaks or any issues involving this Fix It Friday. Um, if you like what you see here today, remember to subscribe. Um, also, you can find this exact product in the description below. If you are interested in purchasing one, um, go ahead and purchase it from there. Um, and we'll kind of keep you guys updated and we'll let you know how well it works. And you get to see how easy it is to install. I hope that it'll take, you know, no more than maybe an hour, probably less, um, but we're all learning, so keep on watching. Thanks. Bye. All right, guys. So I've now pulled the lights out of the ceiling, the speaker, another light, and pulled out the casing for that vent so that we can try to get a wire all the way from that light to this vent. So, as you can see, I've taken this wire and I've strung it through and through 
through here and under into that hole. And I actually had to drill a hole right there to wire it. So now I am ready to put wire on it and pull it through. of fishing and finagling I got it through here are my two wires only have red so I put black on there so I can make it a positive or a negative right there and I got it through there it went up in there and it came out right here so so far we're looking good I'm gonna take this wire you can't see it there it is I'm gonna take this wire out because now we're ready to hook it up to this light. Hey guys, I'm up here on the roof and hopefully you can hear me. Uh, it's pretty windy up here, so I guess we'll see what happens. Most of this I'll just speed up because uh, I don't know if you want to watch me undo screws and whatnot. So um, we have my existing vent here with a cover and I hope that cover will uh, cover up the new fan. If not, I'm going to have to get a new one. This works really well for when it's raining I can have my vents still open so uh, we'll see hopefully it does and then uh, well just watch how I take this all apart and I have all the wiring done inside um, so once I get this on it'll be ready to be hooked up and turned on so stay tuned and keep on watching That took me long enough to uh, scrape all of that silicone this is actually self-leveling stuff um, it was actually really on there I think it helped with it being kind of warm because um, I was able to clean it off pretty good so now I'm going to unscrew the top uh, it uses square bits and then we'll see what's underneath and we'll have to clean it up a little bit more so keep on watching All right, I did it. That took forever. That probably took maybe 30 minutes just to scrape that um, to make it clean. The instructions say to clean all the way around it really, really well. Um, I have, let me show you what we have. So now that I have that clean, I have this stuff. It's a tape um, that'll go all the way around the edge of the new vent, right where the screws go all the way around and then I'll put it down and then uh, we'll put more of that die core silicone all the way around it and on all, all the screw heads and uh, make sure that it's sealed up. All right, so now we're gonna take my tape, I think it's called Buterol, and I'm gonna line the inside of all of these um, along this edge and this edge. There's offset screws on that side. Um, and then we'll put it down and then call the outside. Okay, once that tape's on, now it's time. It's one continuous piece, and I think um, that's just so the water can't get through it. 
if it rains. So now what we're gonna do is place it in the hole. Um, one thing you wanna make sure is that the hinges are facing the vehicle. Uh, that way when you are driving and you leave these open, you're not supposed to, but if you do, the wind's not gonna grab it and rip it right out. So. down um, I cut off all the excess butyrol that popped out when I put the screws on um, so now I will be putting um, this die core uh, you can see it, it's self leveling um, so it's made for roofs and for this kind of stuff it's good for the roof it's good for the vinyl I think is what this is um, so I'm gonna cover all the screws and then do a, a nice side size bead around the edges of the vent and then I'm done up here. So. All right, it's still windy. Now that that's all done, um, I used the entire thing of caulk and I figured the more the merrier I don't want it leaking and the sad news is my old vent cover does not work um, I don't know what if there is anything out there to buy to cover it which I'm gonna look at I'm sure there is um, that's a shame that it doesn't work so uh, now we're gonna go inside I'm gonna cut the flange that fits inside to make it look all flush and pretty and then we're gonna hook it up also and test it okay so now that we have everything done on the roof which was it took maybe an hour or more just to clean and put it all together and make sure it fits um, now what we're gonna do is set this flange in here um, it is important to measure from the ceiling to the corner of the max air fan inside and then once you get that measurement, you add a half inch to all of that and then cut it however you desire the best way and then put it on. All right, so now we're going to actually put that on the flange and then cut it and we'll see how it works on here. All right, we cut the flange, but before we put that in, um, we can't forget to hook up the power and make sure everything works. Make sure that you have your power shut off all around. So what I'm gonna do is unplug it and I'm gonna pull a fuse so that my battery still isn't giving us any juice. Okay, we shouldn't be getting any more power. So what we need to do is the black wire needs to go to the battery positive wire and in the box they sent these little blue things which you just crimp on there Let's see if it works before we stuff the wires in. Ooh, it works. Cool, it works. All right, now we'll stuff the wires in and finish the process. is hot so it is time I turn that on um, I want to thank you for joining me I hope that you learned something 
and had a good time watching me. This was a difficult one. It took forever and the wind was not cooperating. So if you like what you see, please subscribe um, and make some comments if you see anything that you didn't like or what you liked. Um, ring the bell for notifications. And if you liked this fan here, um, I'll have it in the description below and you can purchase it there. Thanks. Bye guys.